It is the 28th of June, 2017, and that can mean only one thing. It is time for Boruto episode 13, The Demon Beast Appears. And I don't say this enough at the start of episodes, I think, but honestly, spoilers. Really, really big spoilers. If you haven't seen the episode and you do actually plan on watching it, don't watch this first. Watch the episode first, then come back forever. Because there is a very, very major plot point that happened this episode. In fact, the whole episode was basically this one plot twist and the fallout of it. Now, before I do get into that, though, I would just like to address that at the start of the episode, I'm maybe a little confused here, but it shows Sai kind of investigating and everyone, and they find out the name of the guy, it's Tanuki Shika something or other, and he mentions he was a former member of the Foundation, as was Sai, and a very big supporter of Danzo. But then he kind of mentions, oh yeah, no, he was a really strong supporter of him. And also he wanted to use the Hashirama cells as a weapon. Now, I'm not sure how much of this Sai found out after investigating or how much he knew before. But if he knew any of this before, why didn't he instantly suspect this man? Because they clearly knew there were ties to the Foundation and Hashirama cells. Surely two and two put together would have led to this Tanuki guy instantly. I don't know, I... I assume what it means by that is that when they were investigating, Sai uncovered all this stuff. But I don't know, they didn't really make it clear. Anyway, that's not the point of this review. The point of this review is the genuinely out of left field plot twist I did not see coming. Now, I haven't really read up much about what others have been saying online about whether this was predicted or not. I personally did not think this at all. So last week, I did mention that I was surprised the class rep had a kind of dark background. And I was like, wow, okay, that's really cool that they added some depth to a character that I thought, maybe, wasn't really a main focus, maybe as a secondary or a tertiary character. Holy shit, was I wrong. Wow, I did not see this coming at all. So, turns out Sumire is the person who's been spreading ghosts around the place. I honestly... Gen I don't know, I'm re I'm still kind of in shock. Maybe not in shock, but I'm still surprised. I did not see this coming at all. I thought this was going to be a pretty straightforward arc where we're introduced to the big bad guy this episode or in a few episodes' time, and then everyone fights or whatever. And I don't know, maybe Sumi Ray's like, background would have played into it. Maybe she'd have recognised him or something. I did not for a second imagine that she was the person spreading the ghosts and stuff. This is genuinely, I'm impressed. Like, hats off. I don't know, maybe this is really predictable. Maybe everyone else watching this could tell several episodes ago. And that's the thing. I'm sure a lot of people will now claim, man, I knew this was coming, because hindsight is fantastic. You can claim that about anything. You can tell people, no, man, I, I, knew, I knew this was happening like months ago. I just didn't tell anyone. But for me, anyway, this was a total surprise and genuinely has put Boruto in my mind like at least a point or two higher in terms of like out of 10 or whatever. Because before I'd like, I, you know, I put it at like a six or a seven. It was a fun little anime. Nothing really went on. The plot was kind of getting a bit, you know, thicker and stuff, but it definitely wasn't anything I'd tell people to just get into straight away. You know, there was there was a build up like, if you like Naruto, maybe give it a shot. But holy shit, this has genuinely impressed me. And I've probably said that about five times in a row now. And honestly, it's not that much more to discuss about this episode. That was kind of the big point. I really like the design of Nui, the tail beast thing. It's the Geno, Geno something that she summoned that her father put in her, and it explains then what her flashback last week was, that weird man doing something to her back. He was sealing a tailed beast in her or whatever. Maybe, maybe it's not a tailed beast. I can't quite tell. It's a beast of some kind. I really dig its design, though. It's kind of like a monkey leopard tiger thing. Reminds me a little bit of Raikou as well, the Pokemon, uh, the legendary dog. Like, the colouring of his legs and stuff just looks very... Raikou-esque. Obviously, he's not, you know, I don't think influenced by it. And also, I was kind of happy to see Kakashi come back. Again, that wasn't a very big point. I'm a little di bit disappointed that his showing up wasn't a very big, important point. He just kind of showed up and everyone was like, oh, yo, Kakashi, what up? And he's like, oh, nothing much. Let's just help you track these people down. And this is also leading to, like, a 
bit more confusion of what Mitski's role is now because I thought Mitski knew who was causing the ghost and stuff and he knew all about it he just didn't want to uncover it yet but I don't know like I am genuinely confused now because he's been given the order by his mysterious snake thing to kill the class rep or Sumire I should probably call her Sumire rather than class rep which would imply that he either didn't know who was behind it initially or he found out recently or whatever but he doesn't seem to be helping her obviously because he's trying to kill her so i really want to know what exactly his role is because i'm still very much up in the air and honestly there's not that much more to talk about after those points really like i'm as i said genuinely impressed the way the direction they took here that was an actual pretty good twist in my opinion and all in all the episode went actually by pretty quickly i did couldn't tell where it was gonna end with some episodes you can kind of tell that they're building up to a climax or a next time kind of thing but i don't know this kind of just went smoothly on until right at the end where Boruto jumped into the vortex thing that Sumire and Nui went into. Genuinely couldn't tell where the episode was going to end because everything kind of kept ramping up and stuff. I'm a little disappointed that Mitsuki and Sumire didn't have like a very big fight. They had a very small scuffle and then Boruto broke them up until they didn't stop fighting. But then, you know, that that's fine because obviously there's going to be a build up and I guess she's going to be the main villain or ever. But actually, that brings me neatly on to next time. So next time obviously is directly after this one and will happen in the dimension that Boruto, Nui and Sumire have been sucked into, I guess, where Boruto seems to be fighting Nui, which will be interesting. And she also mentions right at the end, which I didn't get a screen cap of, but she mentions that Sumire was never a real person to begin with. So I assume she's actually a real person. She just means her name was never Sumire or whatever. But I wonder if she's kind of like an embodiment of... Nui or something or some kind of stuff like that. I mean, the way this anime is going, you can't really predict what's going to happen, honestly. But obviously, we'll see next week. And regardless, I'm looking forward to seeing more of Nui because he's. I want them to clarify whether he's a tailed beast or not. He probably isn't. I may just be being an idiot here. He probably isn't or anything. May just be jumping the gun here. I don't think there's more tail beasts after the nine. They're kind of distinct and stuff. I don't think they'd introduce any more. Although, who knows? Maybe they will. So that about wraps up that episode. Uh, all in all, wow, 10 out of 10. Well, 9 out of 10, maybe. I don't know. The All of the action scenes were kind of short-lived. There was the very small scuffle with New Way where they walled him in. They showed like half a minute of that and half a minute of Sumi Ray versus Mitsuki. So it would have been cool to maybe see a little more fighting and a little less standing around and going, what? You're the bad guy? Yes, I'm the bad guy. And then someone else coming along, wait, you're the bad guy? Yes, I'm the bad guy. But eh, that's fine. It's a shounen anime. It's to be expected, really. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I will definitely be doing an episode next week. Not that I plan on dropping off anytime soon. Also, for those of you watching who are kind of wondering where the hell the rest of my content for my channel is, because the last like three or four months have just been Boruto reviews, I haven't really been doing anything because I'm still trying to sort out the camera to do more poke opening and stuff but i'm thinking of maybe doing a let's play thing soon but that has nothing to do with the borator so there's no point me mentioning it here so until next time goodbye <laughs>